Solicitor General, from groceries to gas, the Liberal carbon tax is making life more expensive for everyone in our province. People in my riding of Newmarket Aurora have told me that they are concerned about the impact that this tax is having on our public safety system. They want to make sure that our first responders in Ontario have the tools and resources that they need to keep our community safe. Speaker, under Order. Premier Ford's leadership, our government is fighting back against crime and building safer communities, but we need all governments to do their part. The federal Liberals and their provincial counterparts need to listen Question. to what we have been saying since day one, and that is scrap this tax. Speaker, can the Solicitor General tell the House how carbon tax is negatively affecting Ontario? The Solicitor General. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank my friend, the member from Newmarket Aurora, and for standing up for public safety every day in her community and supporting York Regional Police Service. Mr. Speaker, the member is right, and I've said this before in the House, Mr. Speaker. When you look at the latest rates of carbon tax as of April 1, it's 18 cents a litre for gasoline. When you look at an average SUV at 100 litres per vehicle, you multiply a daily fill-up, you're spending $6,500 a year just for the carbon tax. Wow. It's ridiculous. And Mr. Speaker, you know who knew about it? Bonnie Crombie, because she was on the Board of Peel Police Service. The queen of the carbon tax knew it. She should come clean with Ontarians. Here, here. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the Solicitor General for the response. It is alarming to hear how the carbon tax is negatively affecting our public safety system. While our government remains focused on delivering solutions to keep Ontarians safe, the opposition NDP and independent Liberals continue to support a tax that puts Order. strain on resources for our first responders. Speaker, I think it is interesting that the former mayor of Mississauga, Bonnie Crombie, who would have approved the budget for her municipal fire department and understood the implications that this punitive tax was having on this budget and on her emergency support system. Question. But now, today, as the uh, leader of the independent Liberals, she is supporting the federal government and tripling this tax by 2030. Dave. Speaker, Thank you. Thank you. The Solicitor General may reply. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. The member is absolutely right. Bonnie Crombie served as mayor of Mississauga and was familiar with the budget line for the carbon tax for the Mississauga Fire Department. That is absolutely true. And you know what's true, Mr. Speaker? 21 and a half cents for diesel as of April 1, just the carbon tax portion. That means on an average fire truck, it is $15,000 a year just for the carbon tax portion. But Mr. Speaker, there's more. Bonnie Crombie wants to support the Liberals in Ottawa to triple the carbon tax, go as high as it can go. Mr. Speaker, Ontario cannot afford Bonnie Crombie. Next question.